The Healthy Living Karim's grandparents were reaching the age of 80, but hardly looked a day older than 60. It was a family ritual to gather at his grandparents' house every Sunday and on public holidays. Karim really looked forward to the large gatherings when the house was brimming with young and old, twenty of them in all including his father and two uncles, their wives, Karim's auntie and uncle, and ten cousins. He enjoyed listening to the conversations especially those led by his dada while he would be sipping tea or munching on dried apricots, depending on the weather. The house was typically filled with a multitude of noises, discussions and arguments, sharing of stories and recipes, peppered by a background humming of TV, which was never watched but also not switched off. On one such Sundays they were taking their usual seating spots, Karim's younger cousin, Zainab excitedly asked to raise the volume of TV. Karim turned around to see what was coming on TV that made Zainab so excited, and found that it was a soap ad showing germs as monsters being fought by the soap. Karim laughed out loud and said, Zainab, it is not real, they just want to sell their products. Make money. It is of no use. Zainab, who was studying in grade two, looked at Karim with a perplexed expression, as if deciding whether to stay quiet or speak up. After a moment or two, she mustered her courage and decided to speak her mind. Zainab, Bia, brother, they came to our school told us how handwashing is extremely necessary to protect us. My teacher also showed us how to wash hands properly and the critical times when we must wash both our hands. Karim laughed again and told Zainab she was being fooled. He added convincingly, believe me, just washing hands cannot protect anything or anyone in an environment full of germs and bacteria. Pollution is everywhere. Zainab now had a painful expression on her face, almost woefully she said, but it does be a uh, hand washing prevents from the direct transferring of germs into mouth, the germs that cause diarrhea. She reluctantly paused and then added in a smaller voice. Can you imagine how unhygienic it will be if we don't wash hands after using latrine or before eating? Karim, a little annoyed with his little cousin, pushed on saying, I am not saying handwashing, I am saying soaps are marketing gimmicks. To strengthen his case, he looked at Dada, Grandfather, Jun, Dear, and said, when Dada, Grandfather, was young, there used to be no soap. He didn't contract diarrhea. He is so healthy and is living a long life. Were there soaps to protect him? Zainab was embarrassed and decided to drop the discussion, although, she found it very hard to believe that all she learned at school about water, sanitation and hygiene was a lie or just shared to sell soaps. She quietly resolved to ask her teacher for more information. By this time, everyone in the lounge was focusing on Karim and Zainab, and the argument they were having. To strengthen his case, he looked at Dada John, dear grandfather, and said, when Dada was young, there used to be no soap. He didn't contract diarrhea. He is so healthy and is living a long life. Were there soaps to protect him? Zainab was embarrassed and decided to drop the discussion, although, she found it very hard to believe that all she learned at school about water, 
sanitation and hygiene was a lie or just shared to sell soaps. She quietly resolved to ask her teacher for more information. Dada seemed amused at the intensity of argument, rather than being perturbed. When Zainab stayed quiet for a while, he encouraged her to say more. Why quiet, Zainab, he asked. Why do you think the germs never attacked me even though we didn't use to have soaps in my childhood, he completed his question. Kareem looked quizzically at his grandfather, he was certain that he would also laugh at his tough question to Zainab. It was his turn to be perplexed because Dada was focusing on Zainab with a serious expression. Zainab got renewed confidence with her grandfather's interest in her views. She piped excitedly, Dada Abba, there were other natural products used when soap was not invented or available widely. I am sure you used fit curry, alum, haldi, turmeric, neem leaves or camphor, all of these organic products are antiseptic and antibacteria. My teacher said it is only through hygienic practices that we can protect ourselves from harmful bacteria, which are everywhere. Grandfather looked very pleased with Zainab, and told her she was absolutely right and so was her teacher. He then turned to Karim, who appeared a bit chastised with the informative response of his twelve-year-old cousin. Beta, son, Karim, said Dada in a polite and patient tone, we should embrace the scientific advancements and benefit from them. It is a very good thing that Zainab's school is creating awareness about such critical issues. Do you know diarrhea is one of the main causes of death among young children across the world? Of course, you are right about the contaminated water and pollution being the prevalent cause. Only 12% households in Pakistan use treated water. We must raise awareness about this and push for stopping the polluters, stricter regulations, and law enforcement. At the same time, we cannot override the importance of safety measures that do not require government support or major legislations. Little acts of care will take us a long way, drinking boiled water, keeping our hands clean and germ-free, making sure slums, villages, and marginalized community are aware of the harms of open defecation and how those germs get transferred into the body, all of these things will bring a major change in the attitudes and practices of everyone. Kareem was transfixed and admired his grandfather even more for his positive and constructive thinking. Like Zainab, he also resolved to learn more about wash and do more to make his environment safe for children.